we'll discuss simple topic last two digits basically last two digits questions are given in two patterns one is product based the other one is power based that means product based question will be given in this way they will give product of few numbers and they will ask you to figure out what is the last two digits of the result or otherwise you can also see the questions in power based they will give you some power and they will ask you to figure out the last two digits of the overall result these are the basic two types of questions we can see under last two digits let's look at the first type of questions in this video product based questions whenever you have any product of numbers if you want to figure out last two digits of the overall result just you have to focus on the last two digits of the given numbers that means for example there is a number p which is uh, ending with ab there is a number q which is ending with cd and if you want to find out last two digits of this what you do is just take the last two digits of the first number last two digits of the second number and use a simple pattern called x and i what is x i is i indicates the product of your unit digits that is b into d and x indicates the product of unit and tens digit and unit and tens digit summation that means a into d plus b into c so ad plus bc is going to be the value now take a last digit here and take if you have anything carry and it has carry take the second last digit from this so this is how we can solve we'll take one example so that you will get a clear clarity how to find out the last two digits of it so here find the last two digits of this product generally how can we find out the last two digits if you have a calculator you can check the result 1741 into 9817 so if you find the product of these numbers we are getting a result 1709 what are the last two digits means it is 97 and this is how we can solve the question if you have a calculator in the exam but we know that calculator is not allowed in the exam the, then how to proceed with the solution we'll look at now here as i told you in the previous whenever you are trying to find out last two digits focus only on the last two digits of the base here the last two digits are 41 and in the next one it is 17 so take those two numbers use the pattern which i have discussed in the previous what is the pattern i that means product of your unit digits 1 into 7 is 7 then x x is nothing but product of unit and tens digit and unit and tens digit summation that means here i am getting 29 what are the last two digits last digit is going to be 7 and second last digit is going to be 9 and your answer is 97 so instead of using calculator you can use the simple trick of x and i to find out the last two digits of any numbers let's look at a simple practice question on it find the last two digits of this particular product so if you observe last two digits here is 24 last two digits here is 13 so you can figure out the last two digits of the entire result so you can take 24 and 13 and find the product of these numbers using the pattern of i and x i is nothing but product of your unit digits 4 into 3 is 12 x is nothing but product of unit and tens digit and summation 2 3 is 6 4 1 is 4 6 4 is 10 answer is going to be last digit is 2 send it as carry to the next number then it will be 11 in 11 take 1 mark the answer as 12 which is available as a for us if the last two digits of the result is x and y find the value of x plus y is a question so how to find out last two digits here focus on the last two digits of the base which is 14 and 49 and use the pattern of i and x i is nothing but product of your unit digits 9 into 4 is 36 x is nothing but product of unit and tens digit summation that means this is 9 plus 16 which is equal to 25 so to get the last two digits take a last digit which is going to be 6 send it as carry 25 plus 3 is going to be 28 take the second last digit as 8 so last two digits of this entire result is 86 but they are asking you to find out what is x plus y that means 8 plus 6 they are asking answer is 14 look at the next question find last two digits of the product 
12899 and into 96 into 997 options are available here so you can find out the last two digits by focusing on these numbers 99 96 and 97 find the product of these numbers you will get the last two digits and then find the last two digits with 97 it's a process or if you can also observe the options here options are ending with 2862 so all the options are having different uh, last date let me check the last date once 9 into 6 what is the last date 9 6 of 54 4 into 7 it is ending with 28 that means last date of the entire result will be 8 if you can check the options this option and this option and this option is not ending with 8 definitely answer choice must be b which is 88 you can also cross check by checking the last two digits of the overall result as well okay so let's look at the other question so in this question they are expecting you to find out the last two digits of the product but especially these numbers are having one similarity all these numbers are ending with a last date of 5 so as usually i am using the same approach find the last two digits of the product you can focus on the last two digits which is 15 and 45 let me find out the last two digits of this result and then i'll do it with 35 what is 15 into 45 last two digits 5 into 5 is equal to 25 and 5 plus 20 which is equal to 25 take a last date 5 send it as carry mark the answer 75 and this is the last two digits of this product and now you have 35 now find the last two digits of this result how can we find out the last two digits 75 into 35 so use the same pattern i x x is not i is nothing but 5 5 are 25 7 5 is 35 and 5 3 is 15 sum of these numbers is equal to 50 overall last date is 5 here and send this as carry last two digits of the overall result will be 25 this is one way of solving the question but doing like this is taking a lot of time and that is the reason i am trying to discuss one simple trick just observe these numbers once we'll discuss the trick so if you observe these numbers all these numbers are ending with 5 and if you look at the product of these numbers 15 into 15 is 225 25 into 25 is 625 15 into 25 is 375 25 into 35 is 875 so if you could observe the last two digits of the result here last two digits are 25 here last two digits of 75 so the basic point which I want to convey is whenever the number is ending with 5, if you find the product of the numbers, definitely the last two digits are going to be either 25 or 75. So when it will be 25, when it is 75, you just need to have a clarity on it. So it is going to be 25 if and only if this is 15 into 15 or otherwise you can also take any odd number. One is a odd number. Any odd number ending with 5 is multiplied with another odd number ending with 5 then the last two digits are 25 if it is 25 into 25 so you can say any even number because 2 is a even number any even number ending with 5 is multiplied with another even number ending with 5 then the last two digits will be 25 when you will get 75 is when odd number ending with 5 is multiplied with the even number ending with 5 or even number ending with 5 is multiplied with odd number ending with 5 that means odd number ending with 5 is multiplied with even number ending with 5 or otherwise even number ending with 5 is multiplied with odd number ending with 5 last two digits are 75 so overall you can understand the point very clearly odd with odd even with even last two digits are 25 odd with even or even with odd last two digits are 75 so the same point i have mentioned here you can use this as a trick to make the answers faster let's take the previous question now again and look at what is the question here find the last two digits of the result and because numbers are ending with 5 you can use this trick very easily so observe before 5 what is the number which is 171 odd number ending with 5 and this is even number ending with 5 and this is odd number ending with 5 as i told you odd with even last two digits are 75 and now i have to do with odd number ending with 5 what is 75 what is 7 7 is a odd number so again odd with odd you will get last two digits at 25 directly you can mark the answer this is a simple trick which you can use when your numbers are ending with 5 instead of using xi method you can use this simple trick by observing 
even number or odd number ending with 5. So look at one simple question which is given in the previous paper. Find the last two digits of the result. So you can just observe what is this? This is even number ending with 5. This is odd number ending with 5. This is even number ending with 5. Again odd number ending with 5. So as I told you in the previous odd with even last two digits are 75. Odd with even last two digits are 75. And 75 and 75 means odd ending with 5, odd number ending with 5, last two digits will be definitely 25. Mark your answer as option A. And basic common sense when you are solving the question, because all numbers are ending with 5, 45 and 55 never be the answers. Answer can be 25 or 75 only. That is a point I already discussed in the previous. So you can figure out whether it is 25 or 75 by observing the pattern. Look at one more question which is given in previous bank exam under numerical ability question. So if you can observe this numbers 175 into 185 plus 55 square is equal to some question mark plus 55 into 115. How to find out this question mark value? What is this question mark value? You can figure out what is this value and subtract this number from it. You will get this result. But doing that will take a lot of time. So that is the reason we are going with the other approach. So if you observe the left hand side what is the last digit of the product 5 into 5 will ends with the last digit of 5 and 55 square means it is also going to end with the last digit of 5. This must be equal to some question mark plus 5 into 5 will end with the last digit of 5. That means to balance this equation what is the possible value or what is the last digit of this question mark definitely 5. That means this option, this option, this option are ruled out. Answer can be either 3 or 4. Now we will fix what is the answer by looking at the numbers. So the given number is 175, given number is 175 into 185. So what is this 17 odd number ending with 5 is multiplied with even number ending with 5. What are the last two digits of this result? 75 plus 55 square that means 55 into 55. So 55 means it is an odd number ending with 5, odd number ending with 5, definitely last two digits of this result will be 25. This must be equal to some question mark, I don't know what is the value of this question mark, plus 55 into 115. So 55 is a number ending with 5, so odd number ending with 5 and this is odd number ending with 5. So last two digits of this result must be equal to 25. So to balance this equation to make LHS as RHS, what should be the question mark value last two dates which must be 75. So you can look at the options mark the answer option 4. Like this you can use the trick of last two dates when the numbers ending with 5. So look at one previous question which is given in CSAT exam 2020 paper. So UPSC civil services aptitude test. What is the reminder when? 51 into 27 into 35 into 62 into 75 is is divided by 100 is divided by 100 this is a question so divided by 100 remember this important point any number is divided by 100 if they are asking you to find out the remainder of it that means they are asking you to figure out last two digits of the result so remember this point find the last two digits of the result. So how to find out last two digits of this result I already told you. So you can use that logic. So when you look at these numbers 35 and 75. What is the product of these numbers 35 and 75? What are the last two digits? Odd number ending with 5, odd number ending with 5. So definitely the last two digits of these numbers will be 25. And observe the leftover numbers. Leftover numbers are 51 into 27. I am just figuring out last two digits using ix method. i is nothing but 7, x is nothing but 35 plus 2, 37. So last two digits of the result is 77 here. Now do the multiplication with 62. 77 into 62 to get the last two digits. Just 7 into 2 is 14 and 14 plus 42 which is giving a result of 56. So last two digits of the result will be 74 here. And now 74 you can multiply with 25 to get the last two digits. 5 into 4 is going to be 20 and 8 plus 35 which is giving a result. 8 plus 35 is going to give a result as 43. 
So that means last two digits of the result. Last digit is going to be 0. Second last digit is 43 plus 2 is 45. So second last digit is 50. So final answer choice is option A. Like this, you will be seeing the questions which are related to last two digits. And one more thing, you can also use basic common sense in solving the question. What is a common sense is, you can just observe they are asking last two digits of the overall result. So finding this result is anyways time taking question. But you can just observe what can be the last eight. 7 into 5 is 35. 35 into 2 is going to be uh, 0. Ends with 0. 5 into 2 ends with 0. 0 into 5 is 0. That means last eight will be definitely 0. You look at the options. No option is ending with 0 except option A. You can also fix that as answer choice. That is the concept of last two dates. So in the next video, we'll try to discuss last two dates questions when the questions are given in powers. Thank you so much.